Hi, Susan. I am here at the event as day two. It continues as, to be as festive as ever. This show has sold out for more than a decade. And one reason why is the people attending, uh, like this guest right here. We have a special guest with us. This is Tony Stark in many ways. Incredible costume there. Tell me what goes into this costume. Thank you. Well, I'm actually unveiling this costume for the first time at Comic-Con. It took me about a year to assemble and have it. It's all vacuum formed and cast off of my body. Uh, I have been a professional cosplayer for about the last uh, 10 years, and I attend here now not only for photo opportunities, but I have a lot of different clients that hire me and contract me to be able to represent their different products. And you even have this case here. Tell me about that. Well, this case usually holds my armor. I'm cosplaying right now as Tony Stark in Iron Man 2 when he arrived at Stark Expo and was transforming out of his armor and had his tuxedo underneath. And last question, why yeah. do you do this? I do this because in life you have to love what you do and do what you love and have a passion for it. The crowd, it's a positive message. It's unbelievable experience and you meet wonderful, wonderful people. There you heard it from Tony Stark, some uh, lifelong advice. Um, now, he's a perfect example of how uh, technology is merging from fiction and reality and crossing back and forth. I took a look at how those worlds are starting to blur. DC Comics celebrates the launch of their new digital content app by letting attendees live inside of a comic book. Head into the sewers as Batman and get the experience of strange assassins known as Talons literally breathing down your neck. I'm here in the Swamp Thing experience and we're living inside a comic world. Let's go through here. And everything here is meant to test my heroic traits. Okay, Swamp Thing appears. I've shown a bit of courage, but one thing I don't have yet are superpowers. That could be sooner than you think. E. Paul Zare is the author of the new book, Chasing Captain America, how advances in science, engineering, and biotechnology will produce a superhuman. To get to the place of really something like the stuff you see with Captain America, we're talking, you know, probably 20 or 30 years still. But within the next five years, we see lots of advances in terms of implantable technologies, uh, brain stimulators. A couple of years ago, it was done in monkey studies in, in Ohio State University, where they knock out a gene that suppresses strength. Because normally your muscles only grow to a certain size, but you can knock those out and get what's called a myostatin gene deletion. And then the muscles get, very rapidly, the signal to get bigger and stronger. Zare quotes Stan Lee in saying, but with great power comes great responsibility. Are we going to make some lines and say, uh, here's the limits. We'll allow this kind of thing, almost like rules in doping in sport, but uh, rules for life. We're allowed to enhance people in the following ways, and this is the Geneva Convention kind of idea. I'd like to see something like that. Superheroes inspiring industry also emerged when Hyundai unveiled its new Iron Man Edition Kona SUV, 1,500 units to be produced for the U.S. market next year. The car is now the computer on wheels, and you know superhero movies and high tech today, and the auto industry, in our opinion, is a, is a perfect match. In the world of comics, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, is where everyone from Iron Man's Tony Stark to the villain Dr. Octopus graduated from. MIT's Media Lab produced a recruitment video starring Ironheart, showing how the high tech hero inspires them too. And so one of the things I love about comics and storytelling and how they intersect with science and technology is that not only can it inspire you to do great things, but it also shapes very intimately the type of people that are in the scientific community. And so that's why I found these videos so great, because it allowed us to draw more people in and tell them that they too can be a part of our community. With accomplished women in science and tech on stage, including MIT graduate and astronaut Katie Coleman, it didn't take long for them to inspire too. What is it like in space? It's a magical place to live and work in space, and everyone should go. Real life heroes inspired by superheroes, inspiring heroes of the future. This is what Comic Con is all about here, just hanging out with a few of my friends uh, Nightcrawler, Mystique. Who are you? Death Angel from Hellboy. Oh, okay. And you? Azazel. All right. Uh, a fine looking gang here. Uh, Comic Con continues through the weekend. I'm going to hang out with some very lively people. Back to you, Susan. Aww.